Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. The best free supplement to your page study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. I'll help you with any channel, for, uh, any question from any vendor. Uh, just easier if it's Kaplan because you can just send it to me backstage like this uh, test taker and I can explicate that for you without uh, cutting and pasting. Uh, Kaplan, uh, if you don't have a uh, Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement with my Guru 15% discount code at checkout, Guru15. Comes in, uh, depending on your exam, at around $50, give or take, depending on what exam you're taking. Uh, tips are on certainly on 65, certainly on 66, uh, certainly on uh, SIE and 7. So I'll certainly uh, put them in those uh, playlists, uh, this question. An investor owns a tip bond with initial par value of 1000 So this is a treasury inflation protected security. Cert first thing you should know, suitability question. This is a good recommendation for somebody who wants to keep pace with inflation. Keep pace with inflation. Because uh, the U.S. Treasury is going to adjust the principal they owe you semi-annually by whatever the uh, CPI rate is. All right, now in terms of practical application, let's get into this question. Uh, you own a tip on the coupon rate is six. Very important. Lots of test takers get hung up on this. The coupon rate does not change. You should know that for all bonds, including tips. The coupon rate does not change. During the first year, the inflation rate is 9%. So, you know, basically you can kind of eyeball this kind of thing and say, okay, well, without the feature of the adjustment to my principal based on inflation, this bond would be paying me $60 in two semi-annual installments of 30. So we're looking for something that's going to be a little higher than 1060 That alone, you could shop the answer set. Sometimes you could come up with the answer just based on that. And again, do I think you're going to have to do this? It's a low probability, but the other things I'm discussing here, they're certainly testable. All right, so we're going to make our first adjustment here. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. <laughs> so where did I get 104.5%? Well, remember, it's semi-annually, so a 9% inflation if the adjustment is made semi-annually, that's going to be 4.5%. So 104.5% will be my new principal value. If you want, you could times it by 4.5. Lots of ways to do math. you got to be careful of that because, you know, uh, as long as you get the right answer, I think it's easier just to adjust that principal value uh, by the entire 104.5%. Now, if I do that, that would be the adjusted principal value, right? So now that first coupon, remember, is going to be Half of six, half of 6% is the 3%. Both the adjustment to the principal is made semi-annually, no adjustment to the coupon, but it's still a semi-annual semi interest payment based now on this adjusted principal value. As I've said here, the coupon rate does not change. You gotta be careful on that. That seems to be something that gets test takers hung up. All right, so that first interest payment is gonna be 3135 based on the, the adjusted principal value. All right, then I got to make another adjustment here. It compounds. So now it's going to be the 100,045, that adjusted principal value, by again, half of the nine, which is four and a half. Again, you could just times that by four and a half and then add it. Uh, I'm just choosing to do it in one fell swoop. And so that's our new principal value, 1,092. The adjustment again, the coupon does not change. The coupon is 6%. Paid semi-annually, that would be 3%, right? So if we're doing it semi-annually, so 1,092 times 3%, 3,276 is my next interest payment after the adjustment to the principal. Remember, that's what's going to happen. The U.S. Treasury is adjusting the principal. They owe you semi-annually based on the coupon rate. They do it every six months. All right, so now I have the answer. Uh, 3,135 and 3,276. That adds up to, and that's the answer to the question, $64.11 is the answer to this question. Now, by the way, as I mentioned, you could just shop the answer set and know because of the compounding feature, it's got to be something more than the $60. And that alone, I think more often than not, 90% of the time will get you the answer. All right. Well, remember, inch by inch, 
your exams are a cinch yard by yard. Your exams are hard, and I'll see you for the next explication request.